Now, if I told you that you have cholelithiasis, you probably wouldn't know what I was talking about. It would make much more sense for me to tell you that you have a gallstone stuck in your bile duct. Medicine, unfortunately, isn't exactly well known for making things easy to understand or simple, and gallbladder and bile duct diseases are certainly no exception. We've got cholelithiasis, which is gallstones in the gallbladder. We've got cholecystitis, which is infection of the gallbladder. We've got cholelithiasis, which you now know is gallstones stuck in the bile duct, and cholangitis, which is an infection of the bile duct. The problem with these diseases is that they can often occur at the same time, and often one leads to another. For example, cholangitis is usually caused by cholelithiasis, which is most commonly occurring in patients who have cholelithiasis. It's also confusing because cholelithiasis, which is stones in the gallbladder, remember, isn't even necessarily a problem on its own if those stones aren't causing symptoms or other problems. But if those stones that are in the gallbladder block the bile from exiting the gallbladder, that can cause an infection or cholecystitis. Or worse, those stones can find a way to escape the gallbladder and get into the bile duct, aka cholelithiasis, which is a big problem because the narrow bile duct isn't used to stones being there, so usually that causes a blockage and then an infection in the bile duct aka cholangitis. And cholangitis is often a life-threatening infection. Now what's tricky is that depending on where the stone is stuck or what symptoms you have and what your lab values and scans show, the exact management might be a little bit different. If your disease is specific to your gallbladder, meaning you've just got stones in your gallbladder causing you pain, cholelithiasis, or you have stones in your gallbladder causing an infection in the gallbladder, cholecystitis, then typically surgery to remove your gallbladder, a cholecystectomy, is gonna be sufficient treatment. Things get more complicated if the scans show that there's a stone stuck in the bile duct because surgery to remove that is much higher risk and much more problematic. So what GI doctors can do instead is a procedure called an ERCP to remove the stones from the bile duct. How do we do that? Well, let's review the anatomy very briefly just so you can understand. Your gallbladder sits here and typically stores excess bile made by the liver. The gallbladder can release bile when needed and then it moves down the bile duct and into the small intestine to help break down your food. If stones form in the gallbladder, sometimes they can escape into this bile duct and get stuck here. Now, we GI doctors typically stay in the intestines with our procedures, but there's a special scope that we can do, an ERCP. This allows us to go down your mouth, go past your stomach and into your small intestine, which so far is just a typical EGD. But then we can use a wire to go up into the bile duct and use dye and x-rays to identify any stones stuck in the bile duct and use balloon extraction to pull down any stones and pull them straight down into the small intestine. Then they can simply pass through the small intestine and end up in the toilet with your next bowel movement. But then you need surgery to remove your gallbladder because if stones leak out of the gallbladder and cause problems once, there's a very high likelihood they're gonna do it again. And as I've said, another stone stuck in the bile duct can quickly cause a life-threatening infection of the bile duct called cholangitis. Elevated liver enzymes, abdominal pain, thickening of the gallbladder wall, or dilation of the bile duct can all be signs of these diseases. In ambiguous cases, we can use special scans to tell us whether there's actually a stone still stuck in the bile duct. And if we see a stone, or if the suspicion of a stone being there is high enough, then we need to do the ERCP procedure to remove the stone. In addition to causing infection, stones stuck in the bile duct can also cause inflammation of the pancreas or pancreatitis. And that's because right next to the bile duct is, you guessed it, the pancreatic duct. Now, pancreatitis from gallstones has a whole host of other problems and complications that can develop. What's most important is that once we have any stones that were in the bile duct removed, and once any pancreatitis is under control, then we've got to go and fix the root cause, the source of the stones in the first place, the gallbladder. Thanks for watching. Let me know if anything was confusing and if you have any additional questions in the comments. Thanks.